Hey guys, it's Portia back with another video. I just want to let you guys know that I did pass my nutrition class. So now all I have is um, dosage calculations and pharmacology and fundamentals. So I have those two classes left. Farm and dosage are two classes in one type of thing. I'm currently working through dosage calculations and it's, it's interesting. Um, I know some of the things, but like doing the flow rates of like basically your flow from like your IV tubing and all that stuff is kind of getting me, but I'll get it. But I do want to talk about nutrition. So I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to get through nutrition. So there are these things called EAQs. If you don't know what that means, I actually forgot what it means right now. But it's part of your lesson, like when you work through your workbook your textbook and your lesson they give you these little quizzes type things those are your eaqs so depending on your instructor you have to go through all of them and i believe there's about 23 chapters so my first thing i knocked out the eaqs so once you start nutrition open up your your ebook start reading doing the i didn't do any lessons i did like a couple but my main thing was to work through the EAQs. That helps you. Um, it just gets you familiar with answering the questions. Because a lot of the questions on the EAQs are kind of similar to like the PA and the OA. So I recommend knocking out your EAQs. And then some of the, well I think this is for all the classes or all the instructors for this class. You have to um, join a live cohort. So I actually did that really quickly. I joined the live cohort where they just they're online and it has to be OA approved. So they're basically just going over questions and stuff. Telling you like what you need to know and, you know, focus on this and that. So I did a lot of note taking and then I had got these nutrition cards from Level RN. Level Up RN. And honestly, I used the, I probably did the really beginning of these cards i use the vitamin b complex since there's so many vitamin b's um cholesterol um car carbohydrates lipids just so i can get familiar with the vocabulary yeah so i paid 39 dollars for it don't waste your money if you feel like you're not gonna use the whole thing i feel like it just it was like a um i used it for like testing I basically like to refresh my memory on my notes and stuff. I thought it was going to be harder than I expected. I think that's why. And I passed the class quickly than I expected too. So this is my timeline. I started nutrition November 25th. I worked through the course, did all my EAQs, did a couple lessons, joined the cohort, live cohort. Um, you, have, you can do your PAs, but you have to get an 850 and higher, which is 80%. So once you get an 850 in both PAs, I think there's two, yes, there's two, um, you can request for an approval for your OA. So I got I got an 890 something in my first one, or 867 in my other one, I got like a an 11 something. So once I did my PAs, um, they were kind of similar. So they asked a lot of questions about like, there's just a patient, I don't even know if I can say this, but I'm gonna just be broad with it. like somebody is um they just found out they have high cholesterol what would the nurse recommend what type of diet like what would you educate basically and we all know that having a high cholesterol you probably need to do low fat diet like stuff like that so you just need to know your your foods know what does what what are good fats what are bad fats good cholesterol bad cholesterol um Know your B vitamins, no vitamin K, vitamin C, no fat soluble, water soluble. So fat soluble, which I like, um, level up RN give you a clue like a fat deck of cards. So a fat deck of cards helps you remember your fat soluble vitamins. And fat soluble vitamins stay longer in your body. And that's why those are more susceptible to getting toxicity. So to remember that, they say vitamin, um, your fat vitamins, fat soluble vitamins is a fat deck of cards. So you got vitamin A, vitamin D, E, K. So that's how I remember that. D, E, K. No C. D, E, K. You got to spell it like a, a different way. But that helped a lot. That helped me remember my fat and water soluble um, 
vitamins but the class overall it was very heavy in information and you will get overwhelmed but i honestly just paced myself i did use a lot of outside sources which i can let you guys know what i use like quizlet and other things to help me understand because i'm not a textbook girl yeah so after taking my pas i got notification i have my texts where i could get notification from the school and i passed those and then when i took my oa oh my gosh i took my oa at like 2 30 a.m and i did it random because i've been studying and i feel like i was like i feel like i know the i know this i and I did it randomly. Like, I, it was literally like 2 a.m. and I'm up studying. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to just take the OA. My, I have kids. Everybody was asleep. It was quiet. Um, I had the Christmas tree in the back on. So I was like, you know what? I scheduled it for 2.30. And I took it. And I passed, guys. Like, I was tired, very tired the next day because... I only probably got like four hours of sleep, but I did get a nap in later on. But yeah, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Yep. So that's how I passed nutrition. I just took notes. I studied. I did outside sources, YouTube videos, online cohort, took notes. I did active recall on my whiteboard, wrote down the fat soluble, water soluble vitamins, what's carbs what's lipids like stuff like that to see if i was actually retaining the information and then i just did practices all the way like questions practice questions practice questions like all the way quizlet is a good um thing to use for that um i can let you guys know which things that i did use if you need it but yeah that's all i have for you guys if you have any other questions comments or concerns please comment below thank you. so i appreciate you guys so 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 much thank you for commenting and um, responding to my videos it makes me feel great that i'm actually helping people and i'm not just talking to anybody or nobody you know that you guys are actually intrigued by my stuff and I'm hoping to reach 1K followers. Um, if you have any other people who are looking to go to WGU, you can send them my profile, my channel, all the things. That being said, I'll catch you on the next one.